Today we will be discussing the Remote Sync or R-Sync Tenable Virtual Appliance to Tenable Core Migration for Tenable SC. This video will follow along with the documentation found in the description. Before starting the Remote Sync process, please follow the procedure to enable SSH access for the Tenable Appliance TNS user and deploy Tenable Core plus Tenable SC. Links to these procedures are included in the migration documentation. As a note, when migrating Tenable SC, formerly Security Center, and Tenable Core does not have the same host name as the Tenable Virtual Appliance, you will need to generate a new key with the new host name via the support portal or by reaching out to the Tenable support team. Once you're logged into Tenable Core, we will use the terminal page or the console to perform the migration. Most of the commands discussed in this video can be copy pasted from the documentation. If the Tenable SC version on Tenable Core is later than the version on the Tenable Virtual Appliance, the documentation includes a command to downgrade the Tenable Core version. The first command that we use will stop Security Center. The next command will remove any existing Tenable SC data. Next, we will remove the installed application. The next command will perform the remote synchronization. This command will require a bit of customization as you need to give it the path to your private SSH key as well as the IP address for the virtual appliance you are migrating from. Once the sync is finished, you will need to log in to the Tenable Virtual Appliance Management Interface. Once in the Virtual Appliance Interface, click on Applications, Security Center, and then scroll down to Manage Security Center and click Stop Security Center. Now we will head back to the terminal in the Tenable Core Appliance. Once here, we'll need to SSH into the virtual appliance as the TNS user using the private key. Once the SSH session is established, we will run a command that will help us to verify that our SSH session and the shell are the only running jobs listed. Now we will exit out of our SSH session and run the rsync command once again. Now that the second sync has completed, we will run a command to reinstall Tenable SC. This may take some time. Now that the reinstall of Security Center or Tenable SC has completed, we will put in a final command to restore the SE Linux context. Once the restoration has completed, your migration will be complete and you will need to complete any post-migration steps in the documentation. If you receive any errors or issues during the migration, please reach out to Tenable support for assistance. This concludes the R-Sync migration of the Tenable Virtual Appliance to Tenable Core for Tenable SC products using more than 250 gigs of disk space.